Well, it's bad news, of course. Donald Trump is going to be indicted. Uh, however, good news, he's got great legal counsel. Joe Tacopina is his lawyer, and he joins us right now. His lawyer in this matter. Joe, thanks for being here. Thank you, Greg. You're not surprised this was going to happen. You knew it, right? I mean, you know, they, they were heading in that direction, clearly. Um, clearly, they had a political agenda here. This is, to me, interference with a free election, um, trying to take a political candidate out. This is the rule of law dying. I mean, today in the United States of America is a very, very bad day for, for true libertarians, for true lovers of the Constitution, because today the rule of law died. And when we start going after people who are political opponents or we don't like, um, and Alvin Bragg clearly made it that clear in his campaign that he yeah. was going to go after Trump before he became DA, he's financed by the far left. Um, Donald Trump obviously is on the opposite end of that spectrum. When we start going after people and then trying to find a crime, we, we, we liken ourselves to the days of Nazi Germany, Soviet Union, Communist China. It's what we never did in this country. But it's a sad, sad day. Whether you like Donald Trump or don't like Donald Trump, you should all feel the, 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 the gravity of what just happened. What happens next? What's gonna, how's it going to go down? He's going to be arraigned like anyone else. Well, not like anyone else because this has never happened before, but there's an arraignment process where we'll plead not guilty. It's going to be early next week, I think maybe Tuesday, but uh, that's not been confirmed yet. We're speaking with the district attorney on logistics, but it's not just us and district attorney. The Secret Service, NYPD, uh, the Court Officers Union, um, Dennis Quirk's group. So you have so many different organizations involved in this. It's going to be um, something we've never seen before. So let's face it, he's not a flight risk. Uh, let's face it, he's, uh, it's, this is a nonviolent crime. Mm. Can't this, I can't believe we're having this conversation. He's going to be arraigned, but. I know you're going to ask me. Yeah. Can it be done virtually? Can it be sure, done should, over the phone? Should be able to be done virtually, but the district attorney doesn't want that. They would lose their opportunity for their perp walk, um, for their, their display, their dog and pony show. Um, everything they've done in this case has been about, you know, getting, getting glorification for their position and, and trying to embarrassed Donald Trump. Wait, there won't be a perp walk. There's, they're not going to perp walk him. That was ha that would happen from a precinct. Oh, I guess they did it to Alan Weisselberg. Mm -hmm. You think they want... Down that is he gonna put, are you going to allow your client to be put in handcuffs? Well, it's not about me. It's the Secret Service, and the Secret Service won't allow that, so that's not going to happen. All right, very good. What's the next move here? We're going to fight this case. I've never been... Look, Greg, you know me for a long time. 32 years I've been doing this, both as a prosecutor and defense attorney. I've never been so angry... In my, in my career, literally, and I said that today to somebody. I was like, I don't understand, but I feel so angry today mm -hmm. because I know what the law is and I know the facts of this case. They don't equal a crime, not a misdemeanor, not a felony. Um, and this is simply something, and this is a case that was dead. Everyone said that no one, no one took this case up. FEC commissioners have said there's no crime here, but yet they're trying to fit this square peg into a round hole to achieve some, some political agenda by some people who, who, who should not be involved in the justice system. Rudy Giuliani said a few moments ago that a judge, and he knows some of the judges, and apparently the judges are, are not crazy, even in New York County, and a judge is going to get their hands on this and say, no way, and, and just throw it out. You know, Greg, if it's an intellectually honest judge, that is exactly what's going to happen. This will not survive motion practice. But I say if it's an intellectually honest judge, because... I've seen, in my short time representing the president, judges who just despise him because they come from a different party, and if they despise him, they, they act in accordance with that, with that sense of uh, distaste. You know, I'm a big-time fan of your client. I consider him a friend. Yep. And, uh, he, and he considers you that, too. I know that. Look. Calling him the district attorney, what he called him, which, oh, by the way, I think was valid criticism, mm. where we are right now, do you think that might have put Bragg over the edge? You know, I don't think, I, I, based on the fact that it happened today, after all that happened and Bob Costello went in, they didn't put all his documents in, they clearly were heading for this day. I don't think that put him over the edge. I think that if there was any chance that they weren't going to go forward, that perhaps egged them on. But if, if that's why they indicted, it's even worse than the original reason why they would indict. I mean, this is a political persecution. The weaponization of our justice system is in full effect. And that's why today in Congress we have a House Judiciary Oversight Committee looking at weapon, weaponization of the DOJ, 
they and they sent Alan Bragg a letter. Mm. I mean, they are on, Congress is on this, and it's 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 a horrible, horrible situation. So you you're in front of judges, and you do this all the time. Mm -hmm. um, how long would this take? Uh, and I want to know what impact it would have. I mean, on the on the election, on the campaign. I mean, could you stretch it out, and do you want to stretch it out? You know six months, a year, year and a half, just kick it down the road. Would that help? be helpful or detrimental? You know, if you look at the poll numbers, the more steam this thing has picked up, the more rumors it's picked up that it's going forward, it seems like his polls are rising. But his from a legal perspective, I want to get rid help. of this case tomorrow. Yeah. I want, to get, I want to get rid of this case tomorrow. He's a human being. He's the toughest human being I know, but he's a human being nonetheless, and he shouldn't be under false charges for a day more than he has to be. Let's get rid of this case, and then, you know, he moves on and does what he does. Joe Tacopina, the defense attorney for Donald J. Trump, president of the United States. When does it actually become official, official, official? You've been notified by the DA himself? Yes, not him, but, but, but a member of their office, And correct. it's happening. Yeah, yeah, it's done. What a sad day. It's a sad day. But you know what? What do they say? Darkest before the dawn, exactly. right? I think exactly. something amazing can you know, happen. Tough times don't last. Tough people do. And we have the toughest defendant, perhaps, in American history. So we'll see what happens. Joe Tacopina, thank you very, very thank much. You. Okay, all the best. We'll be right back.